Hi Fools, healthcare analyst David Williamson discussing Mankind's upcoming critical vote. Now, shares of Mankind closed down over 5% today as the briefing documents came out for its FDA advisory committee meeting on Tuesday, which is also April Fool's Day. Hopefully its outcome isn't a cruel joke on Mankind investors. There's some good and some bad in these documents, which will make for a really interesting debate. Shares, in fact, were actually up to start the day, but then they ended up trading down, I think, as the um, documents were digested. Now, efficacy on type 2 diabetes looked good. It wasn't as convincing on type 1 due to some uh, missing data. There were some safety concerns as well that caused some uh, to discontinue use, including bronchial spasms. And more concerning, there was an imbalance of lung cancers not favoring the Afrezza group. Now, this is a real concern for me as it dogged the previous inhaled insulin exubera. Now, Pfizer pulled exubera due to poor sales and uh, a post-marketing trial wasn't uh, sufficiently run uh, to determine uh, if exubera was, in fact, uh, to credit for this imbalance. But insulin is a growth agent that is getting deposited directly into the lungs. Now, that's not to say that either of these drugs cause lung cancer. I am not saying that at all. But it could be akin to throwing gas on a fire. And even if, it's, even if a clear tie is never proven, the presumed relationship could hurt sales of Afrezza. Uh, so I'm going to make my prediction. I think Afrezza gets a tepid thumbs up from a very mixed panel. Uh, this will put the onus on the FDA and lead to more speculation ahead of its PDUFA date. However, the FDA is really tough on inhaled medicines, so I encourage investors to use caution here. The potential for downside in mankind shares is tremendous. The company has a $2 billion market cap, and many are estimating peak sales of Afrezza in the $500 million to $750 million range if it's approved. Uh, mankind could trade south if uh, Afrezza's launch struggles to find traction. Uh, you know, that's guiding at, you know, 3x, possibly 4x peak sales. You know, there's a reason that 63% of the float of mankind is sold short. I think there is a lot of inherent risk in this company, uh, more so than even most biotech binary events. Keep in mind, Afrezza is mankind's only product. It is essentially the company. And it's also essentially on its last legitimate shot at approval. It likely won't get any safer or more efficacious. And it's already been rejected twice, the last time for changing to the improved Dreamboat delivery device. So, you know, you can't knock the drug for that. Uh, but it is what caused the latest delay. Still, this is a critical juncture for mankind. Uh, we'll be watching uh, this advisory committee vote, so please come back to Fool.com on Tuesday to see how it turned out. Thanks for watching, and Fool on.